do you believe in evil eye then there is nothing to believe evil eye is there right people around you can become jealous of you see two things induces evil eye first of all why evil eye is produced when you are living in a society where people are not as prosperous affluent or happy as you then in that scenario it is bit natural that they will have ire and jealousy towards you there are very few people who are free from these human weaknesses 80% of the people have these human weaknesses embedded in themselves so two types of people first of all those who are very weak than yourself if your happiness prosperity affluence is giving them depression they are not at a level they are not in a situation that they can ever achieve what you have whether it is reality or they mentally think this to be true will make them think about you 24/7 and their thinking added with the thought that i can never become like this or god have not blessed me to you know become like this will induce the black magic sorry will induce the evil eye not only this someone who is completely fulfilled into negativity who have no speck of positivity in themselves those who don't believe in god those who are 24/7 surrounded by negative thoughts negative people and they do negative things eating non vegetarian food and you know having the thoughts of hatred jealousy and all of these things when they start thinking of you because they have negativity all around themselves they are a pool of negativity when they start thinking of yourself they will subconsciously transmit the negative energies to you it is the same way that you must have seen that people who are popular or people who are loved by many generally don't fall ill or do well in life because there are many people who think well of them who send them positive energies there are more people to send positive energies to them as compared to those who send negative energies to them so they remain in a good state right energy thought words these thoughts words these are energies which cannot be destroyed they just change their form from one form to another form they change into and people who are a pool of negativity who cannot reach at your level when they see your happiness contentment and how you enjoy life they start thinking of you and this coupled with the thought that they can never have such things induces black magic induces evil eye not black magic evil eye extremely sorry for using the word black magic so this evil eye can start impacting you when there are more haters than lovers then the amalgamation of these negative thoughts that people are having towards you will start impacting you and because of this you will see health issues because of this you will see obstructions in your day to day life because of this you will see that the things that was very easy for you to achieve is becoming difficult not because you cannot achieve it but because you are engaged into other things that you are not able to focus in your profession because your day to day life is so haphazard that you cannot focus you see if you are having a bickering and fighting neighborhood who keeps on fighting and bickering day in and day out listening to the sounds of fighting and bickering your mood will be spoiled and with this spoiled mood whatever 
you will try to do, you will not be able to do it as efficiently as you can do it otherwise. The same impact this evil eye also have on people, right? So how to identify this evil eye and how to remedy this evil eye is what we are going to talk about today. But first of all, when you become very much susceptible to evil eye, you have to understand the first and the foremost thing, what I have told you, this is the crux of it. When you are living in a society where people see your affluence, people see your enjoyment, people see your blessings, but they are by no means able to achieve it. They become jealous. They start thinking of you and their jealousy added with their negativity, added with their inability produces this evil eye. For this particular reason, it is told that one should have friends of their level. One should live in society of their level. If a policeman starts living in a society filled up of different type of criminals, what will happen? You better know. So the first and the foremost thing that is there, live with your type of people. Have friends who are at your level, live in a society which is at your level, this is the first thing you should do. And if you cannot do that, then you should stop showing your blessings. Stop showing your belongings to these people and become secretive. Because as they will come to know about it, they will become jealous and problem will happen. So this is the first and the foremost remedy before I talk about anything. Other than that, there will be few more cautions that you have to keep. First of all, a greedy person is also very susceptible to evil eye. So control the greed. You love money, you want to earn money, you want to become rich is another point, but greed you should avoid. It is for males. Cruelty in nature you should avoid. You should not be fearful of anything. Those who are very much fearful of the unknown, those who have unknown fear are also very susceptible to black magic. Quickly after sexual cohabitation, without washing your private parts, if you are going into public, then also you will become very susceptible to being attacked by evil spirits or evil eye. If you have a very wicked nature, then you will also be susceptible to very evil eye. Don't do that. Always remembering about enemy, enmity also makes you susceptible to evil eye. If you have habit of spending a lot of money and showing it off to people, this will also make you susceptible to evil eye. And being attacked by ghosts and goblins, which I am also putting it into evil eye. Many a times what can happen? For example, if one is roaming into streets after having sexual cohabitations, but not washing their private parts, they are very much susceptible to being attacked by wild beings, ghosts, goblins, booth, preet, whatever you can say. So this should be avoided. Many a times the attack from these beings is also misunderstood as black magic or evil eye, but the thing is different as I told you. So don't do that. People who stay away from religious activity are also very susceptible to attacked by these evil spirits or black magic. So always engage in regular religious activity, either daily worship or following of things such as Purnima worship, Ekadashi, fasting, etc. should be done. Having thoughts of revenge also makes you susceptible to evil eye black magic. Remaining impure, not taking bath daily will also make you susceptible to evil eye and black magic. Those who are diseased since long and doing nothing to, you know, counter this uh, disease are also very susceptible to evil eye and black magic. People who always keep on laughing. People who do a lot of makeup. People who have a lot of impatience, 
people who are roaming alone in night such people are very susceptible to evil eye and black magic males so these things should be avoided for females bathing after smearing clay or oil over body on this day whenever you have taken such bath after smearing clay or oil over body on this particular day for the next next 6 to 7 hours don't go anywhere shopping or going into public places should be avoided otherwise you will be susceptible to evil eye or black magic women who have recently given birth should avoid going into public for the 2 3 months people uh, females who have recently enjoyed sexual copulation should avoid going into public before have before washing their private parts or having a bath after consumption of alcohol going into public alone is not recommended going into public going into public places even when nowhere is there in a naked state is also not recommended women who have a lot of lust of having a sexual companion women who crack a lot of jokes women who are riding a vehicle alone in night women who are menstruating women thinking of affair with someone else's husband women who is weeping alone or a beautiful woman sitting alone is very much susceptible to being attacked by evil energies or being attacked by evil eye so these things should be avoided at all possible cost or if not avoided then in that scenario you should have a regular practice of worship and should have practices of purification such as bathing etc before going out in public next thing is people who are very shameful both male and women people who have taken some type of loan people who have strong enmity and thoughts of enmity in mind are also very susceptible to evil eye and getting attacked by evil spirits as a result there will be obstructions in undertakings and obstructions in even doing those things which is very easy for you to do and bad luck will be there as a result of being attacked by evil spirits and because of negative energies these will be there these negative energies what i am talking about which can attack people they live in caves and at those mountains from where the sound reflects or come back they also live in this forest which are on top of a mountain nearby rivers well and pond on the junction of multiple rivers in cow shed near dilapidated temples and homes near those places where only one tree is planted near the funeral pyre near impure places near temples near those places where treasures are found near snake burrows at cross roads near the boundaries of city and village nearby devi temple other religious places nearby pilgrimage gardens big buildings these evil spirits live in the aforementioned state that i have mentioned for male and female you should not go to these places otherwise you will be attacked by evil spirits and the result will be obstructions in undertakings bad luck diseases and all these things that i have told you before this is the first precautionary measure that you have to take into consideration now going further see there are combinations from the horoscope and from the prashna using which you can know whether one is suffering from black magic or not sorry evil eye or not regarding the attack from the evil spirits attack from the evil energies if you go into the aforementioned state to the aforementioned places there will be attack from these evil spirits and the result of it will be 
most primarily disease and strange happenings in life. So this should be avoided. And if one have been attacked by these evil spirits, then one should do worship. I will tell you the remedies later on. Do these remedies to get rid. As a result, the strange things that have been happening in your life will stop. And if there is health problem because of it, it will improve. Now coming to black magic, I am going to talk about combinations. If you are having these combinations in your horoscope, you are susceptible to black magic. The planets who are making this combination in the dashantar dasha of these planets, the evil eye will impact. And the results of disease, obstruction, strange happenings in life, strange behavior of people around you will happen. For which you should do the remedies. Another thing is whenever one suspects of evil eye, we make a prashna. We make a horoscope for the moment when the native comes to us. And if in prashna these combinations are present, we understand that the person is suffering from evil eye. And then we do the remedy. First of all, for a movable Rashi, Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn, 11th house Lord is Badak. For a fixed ascendant, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius, ninth Lord is Badak. And for a dual ascendant, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces and Sagittarius, seventh Lord is Badak. If this Badak planet is expecting ascendant or ascendant Lord, there is evil eye. If this is happening in Prashna, the person is suffering from evil eye. If this is happening in natal horoscope, one is susceptible to get affected by evil eye. Those who are not having this combination, they will not having this combination in their birth horoscope, they will not be susceptible to come under the influence of evil eye. But still, they can come under the influence of evil eye. If the person who have casted the evil eye is very negative, that will be known through Prashna, remedy can be done, that is okay. If this combination is present in the natal chart, then the person will be very susceptible to come under the influence of evil eye and these people come under the influence of evil eye very often. Any normal person, even relatives, become even 1% jealous of you and their evil eye starts impacting you if you have this combination in your birth chart. Badak house, I have already mentioned to you, if the seventh lord is going into Badak house or the Badak house lord and the seventh lord are mutually connected, mutually expecting each other or sitting together, then also the person is susceptible to evil eye. Lagna is a movable sign, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn with a malefic planet. Malefic planet is Sun, Saturn, Mars, Rahu. While Mars is there in the seventh house, then also one is susceptible to evil eye. If there is any malefic in ascendant, Saturn is there in seventh house and moon is also afflicted in horoscope, then also one is susceptible to evil eye. If the Badak house lord is making this aforementioned combination and is also connected to Venus. Then the evil eye is on the native because he was doing sexual activity or showing affection in public. And in the same manner, depending on the planet who is connected to Badak Lord or the combination maker. So there are two combinations are there. The Seventh Lord goes into Badak house, Badak Lord is connected to Seventh Lord or the Badak Lord is connected to Lagna or Lagna Lord. In this case, the planet with the Badak planet or the nature of the Badak, Badak planet, signification of the Badak planet. In the second combination in a movable ascendant, Malefic in the ascendant, Mars in the seventh house or Malefic in the ascendant, Saturn in the seventh house. In this scenario, this Malefic in the ascendant will indicate because of which reason one get affected of evil eye. If sun is the planet, then because of the authority of the person, people are jealous and they have casted evil eye. If moon is there, then because of the blessings of the native people are jealous. 
if mars is the planet then because of the authority of the native people are jealous because of the status position professional position of the native people are jealous mercury indicates that because of the family and friends of the native people are jealous jupiter indicates jealousy is because of financial matters venus indicate jealousy is because of life partner jealousy of jealousy is because of showing affection in public saturn indicates jealousy is because of the success supporters and popularity of the native rahu indicates jealousy is because of the nature and affluence of the native and ketu indicates that jealousy is because of the beauty of the native as i told you if this combination is present in birth horoscope then one is very susceptible to evil eye in this particular scenario any person even your family members or friends if they come to know of something that they don't have then they can have jealousy towards you and their jealousy negative thought will start impacting you which will create obstructions in your life strange happenings in your life people around you will also start behaving in a strange way and health related problems will be there if these combinations are present in prashna which can be for anyone it does indicate that native is affected by black magic and then appropriate remedial measures should be done right that's the very very basic point so as i have told you before because you are having those things that the other person can never have and they come to know of it they can become jealous and evil i will work jealousy jealousy of a negative person or jealousy of anyone causes evil i so first of all you should live in a society you should have those friends which are at your level and if you cannot do that then you should not discuss about those things flaunt about those things talk about those things which will make the other person jealous this is the first avoidance related thing that you have to do if you keep on doing this then there will be problem if you eat food in front of someone who is hungry or who is not blessed enough to have food then of course the ire or jealousy of the person will come and hit you so this should be avoided is the most important thing is the most important precaution after that as a practice raksha stotram you see when you worship deities there is kavach is there for every deity and the prime purpose of the kavach is protection so if you are having combinations of evil eye in your horoscope then you should do kavach of deities right if you are initiated in any tradition you should do kavach of the deity in whose mantra you are initiated in if you are not initiated in, in into any parampara then ram raksha stotram which is a kavach of rama is the best for protection this you should do every day if the combination is present in your horoscope even if it is present in prashna then you should start doing it and should continue doing it for next 2 years at least if it is in natal chart then you should do it for a lifetime first thing secondly to save from the evil eye if you go to a bhairav temple you will generally see that black thread is distributed or into a hanuman temple red thread is distributed if if this is distributed take it and have it in your wear it in your right hand like a bracelet if not then to the bhairav temple you can take a black thread or to the hanuman temple you can take a red thread and make the thread touch the idol of the deity with a sincere prayer of the deity to save you from evil eye and if there is any evil eye to eradicate that evil eye do the prayer and wear that black or red thread in your right hand in your neck or in your right leg for protection from evil eye right this is the secondary precautionary measure other than that on tuesdays and saturdays 
visiting the temple of any aggressive god visiting the temple of durga kali hanuman bhairav every tuesday and saturday around evening time and offering the deity some juicy fruit such as coconut grapes pomegranate etc is also very helpful in saving oneself from evil eye and if there is already practice of evil eye uh, if the evil eye is already present then to loosen the impact of evil eye there is kritya pahar suktam that comes from vedas in the case where the evil eye is very strong this kritya pahar suktam can be chanted homa can be done from the kritya pahar suktam for alleviation of black magic also an evil eye also kritya pahar suktam there is a forthcoming course by the name of the bada course which i am doing into from 18th to 21st of september this four days in this particular course i will be teaching in depth about black magic evil eye curses sins all these things i will teach about in depth in these four days and black magic kritya vichar curse sin civil i how to find them which combinations in the birth chart and prashna indicate them how to know which person have done that which objects they have used when it will impact which way it will impact what problem it will cause and how to eradicate it which remedies to do which remedies to do for protection if it is already done on you which remedies to do to destroy the result and to further safeguard yourself this i will be teaching in depth in this four day crash course which is from 18 to 21st september which you should join if you want to become a master in these topics and if you want to analyze these topics and provide solutions to people or to yourself and to your family members in depth you should join this course in that particular course this kritya pahar suktam i will be sharing with the course participants so that will be there right so kritya pahar suktam can be chanted and homa from kritya pahar suktam can be done in fact homa from durga saptashati what is called chandi home which any priest can do for you is also very beneficial to safeguard oneself from black magic evil eye not only this feeding animals every saturday any type of animal it can be it can be ant it can be dog it can be birds feeding these animals every saturday around evening time is also very beneficial to save from evil eye right and uh, this thing is there other than that many vastu related remedies are also there but for that you will have to know a little bit of vastu also so i am not discussing about that right now few tips i can give you there are gods with multiple faces right panchmukhi hanuman is there narsingh is there bhairav is there now bhairav is a fearful god so batuku bhairav the child form of bhairav you should take idol of these gods you should have in your home temple or photos of these deities you should have in your home in your temple around the temple and you should so dupam deepam namaskaram to these deities every day this will also save you from evil eye right this one thing. this is also a very powerful remedy that i have seen working before taking food specifically in evening this can also be done in morning you should take food right so either you can take a roti chapati and there are 10 directions right east south east south south west west north west north north east upwards downwards these 10 directions are there so in the evening 
or also in the morning after the food is cooked and before anyone have consumed it you can take the food small amounts of it and can throw it into all these ten directions little bit upward and downward also this you should do outside of your house in some veranda garden nearby or if you cannot do it into 10 directions then only in one direction you can do it for remembering all the 10 directions leave some food this is called bali vaishwadev and if this is done regularly properly this also saves you from evil eye black magic and all such things right these negative energies are satisfied also before deepavali narak chaturdashi is there proper celebration of narak chaturdashi once every year also saves one from evil eye and black magic every time right so this also should be done these are few of the remedies which you can do for a lifetime if the combinations for evil eye is present in your horoscope or for the next 2 years if the evil eye is seen in the prashna chart this will make sure that if the evil eye is not done on you provided the fact that the combination is there in horoscope then you will get protected from evil eye if the evil eye is already done then these remedies will loosen the grip loosen the impact slowly slowly and after continuously doing them for 4 to 6 months the evil eye will be completely over and further you will not be impacted by the evil eye out of all of these remedies at least 4 or 5 you should simultaneously follow and that will save you from the evil eye all these remedies that i have told you and all these combinations that i have told you i have seen working in my practice that's why i have shared with you in doing any remedy at most complete faith in the god in the almighty in the super power is needed that you should have this you should do and you will save yourself from evil eye and everyone should be safe from evil eye and there should be no jealousy ir and hatred in the world is my only wish but still people have it because they cannot reach at your level and what you can do of a criminal except for saving yourself because we are common people so do this and save yourself thank you